Welcome back awesome Ashley fans and subscribers. I'm reviewing this World Peacekeepers A and B Combat Armored Vehicles or Vehicle. Uh, saw this probably about a couple of years back, but I can never find it in retail, it's too expensive online, but I found it on a sale on Tab Out in China, so I got a pretty good bargain on this and I'm really really quite happy. So a friend of mine saw it in Singapore for uh, 65 Singapore dollars. I did the maths a little while ago, I actually paid about 35 for Singapore dollars if I do the um, the currency conversion so I've got a pretty good price on this so I'm quite happy looks really nice it's 118 scale it's from this uh, the world peacekeepers that sort of anime license they've got I think it's an anime license get these sci-fi figures here my trusty blue scissors and on the back it shows the ammo box you get this vehicle a water propeller an A and B ATV chariot yeah a Merzam Combat Spaceship, which I've got being delivered in the next few days, an AMB Combat Mobile Device, and the Armored Mobile Mastiff, which I will put in the suggested videos over here. And I'll put my other World Peacekeeper figure reviews in the suggested videos around here as well, somewhere. Okay, so please watch those too. Have a look in the back. On the side, it just shows compartments that open, vehicles going in, and it's the same on both sides, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look. Where is the opening? Yeah, okay. I can't see any tape on this. Oh, yeah, the piece there. Let's get this now. Okay, easy enough. Okay, here we go. Nothing else in the box. It does look really, really nice. There's actually a sprue of Accessories, stroke weapons, I see a couple of handguns in the back as well. Which you can see sort of just behind here. You can look on Facebook and 118 forums and see a few of these that have been painted and custom. Some bit of G.I. Joe, some of the Acid Rain World, and look really, really nice. Uh, there is something on the back here, is that just a packing? There's some white card on the back here, but I think it's just, yeah, just packing support, nothing in there. There are a couple of flaps here, and they've got some cable ties, which I will undo now. All the uh, plastic, sort of white coated wire to keep things in place. There are six of these, it looks like. That's one. That's two. Three. And another piece of white card on the bottom again. It might just be packing support, but I will check that and have a look in a little while. That's four. Actually, I'm telling you what, there's actually more than six here. There's some smaller ones too. These are quite a nice idea, but for reviews, you either got to pause the video or do this very, very fast what I'm trying to do. And the first few were very loosely tied, so it's like very quick, but this one here is like being tied by a team of people over 20 years. Okay, just one more on the bottom, there's two inside, which I think I can do when I pull out the card insert. Sorry to bore you, gents and ladies and fellow collectors. Okay, all the downwards ones are done. There's nothing in that. Uh, there's a white card on the bottom I'll take off. I imagine that's just um, support packing. Yep. There's also a clear plastic tie or a few three of them that I can see it's very very securely packaged 
there's two and there's three oh, look it's coming Okay, the freewheeling action is actually fantastic. You might have heard it go zoom then. We can now see the other stuff in the box. The sprues are very small, but you have two troopers, which look well, I reviewed these two previously. They look good, but articulation is very, very limited. Tape here. Okay, and they have two ties, one for each on the back here. The figs are pretty cool. If you look at my suggested videos from earlier, or maybe I'll stick it here, uh, they look nice. Articulation is a bit sucky in places, but they've got a very, very nice sci fi feel to them. And they've got their good basis use of customs, you know, this heavy sort of armored or heavy armor, mech, robot, whatever, power suits, and so forth. Let me get this last piece out, and then we have a. Look. Okay, so the men I will have a quick look at, but no review because you can see it in my other videos, which I'll put at the top. Look nice. Joints are stiff than the other ones I had before. Weapons are pretty cool. Uh, here is a new weapon I've seen before and they've got some backpack clips to put things on so the long rifle I've not seen before give you an idea of how long it's like a sniper rifle as long as him and he's 118 scale hat the uh, sort of machine gun we've seen and these two things the gray and the blue clip onto the back and you can attach things to them. I think that's what these are for. Maybe I don't know. Uh, handgun is really nice and it's almost like a Robocop handgun. The other stuff, I'm not quite sure what it's for or where it goes, but I will take it off. And the gun off now anyway. Maybe I'll find out in a short while. And then this, I'm really not sure what that is. Or where it goes at the moment. Uh, exactly the same on the other side, but there's only one of these black things, so I am not entirely sure what's going to happen to that. Maybe I'll find out now. Maybe one of you guys will tell me in the comments because I have no idea. Let's open this as well and I'll have a quick look. Okay, so this should attach quite easily to the barrel somewhere. Should the front, and that's the thinnest. Ooh, that is going to so snap if I'm not careful. Or maybe it'll attach here instead. I won't play around too much with that now. It could be here. There's a couple of thin parts, but the plastic is that um, quite strong but brittle. So, you know, if you push it too hard, you're going to snap it. Uh, these parts just clip on the back, so I've used the grey one on this guy here. Very simple. It's got two clips which you can clip guns in, I guess, but I know they have attachments to other stuff. Okay, I'm going to leave the guys out of it for now. I'll have a look at them maybe later. But the main attraction is this AMB.
So let's have a look. Free wheeling action. That's good. Uh, they've got a door that is taped. I've just seen one in my scissors for that. It should just be a peel job. Very easy. Okay. Um, okay, let's go to the front and back. So this moves is quite quite a nice motion. Little arm section there. Uh, okay, so these open sideways and fit your fingers inside. It doesn't go back inside, it just goes down. Gun part turns really well. That feels a bit loose. The gun goes up, quite a good elevation. This part, it appears, can open, and so can this part somehow. Let's have a look. Okay, some clips on that, and that'll come out nice and easily. This door is just a push through door. This part, I think, is just another. Flip up or open? Which one? Open, definitely. Open. Look at the box before I snap that part off. Okay, this just clips down and comes up. But how are you going to get it up? And I'm not quite sure, and it's quite stiff there. Uh, so let's have a look at the inside part first. Um, if I put a normal, in fact, let me put one of their figures in. If he sits down on that, it doesn't sit particularly well because their leg armor gets in the way. Yeah, that will still go on. If I use an acid rain world prospector, who will sit down very well because your legs are fantastic articulation. That will still close even with a backpack on. Okay, cool. Uh, let me look with her inside the uh, hatch at the front. Not bad, and the arm can come up to help protect if need be. That's all cool. Okay, so last thing to do is to work out how to get this top part off bit. Okay. Uh, there is slightly strange. You see, there's a panel. You can see that just here on the bottom. I'm not sure why that panel is there for. Maybe when I get this part off, I will find out. Maybe I won't. So the front parts are quite easy, but the back part is a bit more stiff. So I will get my trusty scissors and hopefully not break anything process. Okay, there we go. A bit awkward to do, but it will come off. Okay, so inside. Okay, now I know why that panel is there on underneath. It's for the seat which has a sliding mechanism. You can slide the seat forwards or you can slide the seat backwards. That's a really nice feature. But it just feels like they're missing something, not having a second seat there. And they're missing something by not having this slightly lowered down for the seats. This looks pretty cool without the roof and without everything else. It is a really, really nice toy. Definitely worth picking up. Really nice if you want 18. Uh, the ones I've seen painted look amazing and this, I can see why. The turret looks nice. It's a nice shape. It's a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what's that? Octagonal, octagonal shape. Uh, that's fine. It'd be nice to get slightly more elevation on the actual gun than the uh, approximately 45 degrees, but that is okay. This part fits with the uh, fake hatches towards the front. It'd be nice if they open too. Again, it's just a 
clip on, which will be a bit awkward sometimes. Everything to line up. Okay, that is in. The rear door is actually quite difficult to open. Unless you've got strong fingernails or the tops off and you can uh, push from the inside. Or you get something thin like maybe a pair of scissors and you can open there. Now let's get a size comparison with the Acid Rain figure. Uh, just to get an idea, the Acid Rain figure is slightly taller than the, uh, than the uh, World Peace Gives Ammo Bot figure here. And it scales incredibly well for 118. In fact, she can just about stand up inside with the door open. So they have scaled this exceptionally well. Let's get the stand up nicely, first of all. Just about, her head is a bit big for the actual opening. It'll probably fall over if I turn this around. But she stands up inside, which is really, really nice. Inside to sit her down, let me take a assault rifle off. The wheel does turn, this is doing one side. This will be very easy for her with her uh, grow articulation in the legs. So, first of all, at the extremity of the seat position, when it's on the back of the position. I will be moving the camera for this so you can hopefully see. Okay, if I bring the camera here, you see that she fits very well and she has about an inch, an inch and a bit away from the actual steering wheel. And if I slide it closer, She holds the wheel actually quite easily. Just a shame there's not another spare seat in there. It's a simple toy, well made, looks great, very nice casting, uh, sculpting, sorry. It could do with some more details, granted, that's very nice. And the ones that I've seen painted look amazing. Uh, this is definitely a project for my next sort of 15 years time, as I keep saying. Very, very nice vehicle, very, very nice toy indeed. I'm so glad I picked it up. Uh, it also, if you notice on the back, it has amphibious propellers here. There's amphibious as well, which I guess the shape kind of gave it away with the front. So that is a really, really nice feature. Great for your G.I. Joe, great for your Marauder, great for your Acid Rain World, great for a whole lumber of them things. You see that I've scratched it with the scissors as well when I was trying to open that door. So the plastic is not very, very tough. But it is such a great looking vehicle. Okay, we've got the top back on. It's got like a clear plastic here. I'm not sure what purpose it serves. And that clear plastic, I can see down into the wheel there. I'm not sure why that's there. So that's clear plastic. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this has just two pegs that fit into these holes. So it's the back and it's going to be considered taken off, not the actual front. The front will just go in by itself. So me doing that didn't help. It's a pick up directly from the back. And then it should, in theory, don't break fingernails. There you go, there's one. Two. Be easier to take off. Great looking vehicle. A bit strange that the gun can't go flat above that, but never mind. Great looking vehicle. Great for your scenarios, your dioramas, posing your troops with. I do recommend this and I do really, really like it a lot. Uh, the Ra2, there's a hinge here and a hinge here. You can actually unclip these hinges from the hinge at the, that's locked onto the actual 
chassis. There we go. When that's unlocked, that can come down, which I think is better anyway. Or go flat here, or turn around. There's far more potential without being locked onto these two hinge blocks there. And it will still go underneath those lights. I would be tempted to put proper lights now and a switch and whatnot in the uh, headlight section there. I'm sure someone's done it already. Fantastic vehicle indeed. Well worth picking up. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys, and I am signing out, saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to them all more Awesome Action videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting, and please click, clink, please click on the notifications icon to stay up to date to latest uploads, videos, reviews, etc. Okay, bye bye.